Hey love, so it's your girl April and I am back with a new hair company. This company is called Real Strands and I will post their information below on realstrands.com. You can also follow them on social media which I will also post for you guys below as well. And this time I got some different hair. Um, I've never done this type of hair before so I'm really excited. So this time around I do have some virgin Filipino hair and I do have several different bundle lengths and they range from 16 to 16 inches a 14 a 12 and a 10 inch So that is a lot of hair and normally when it's that long you don't have to use all of it So we shall see what type of hairstyle I come out with with this one But yes, so the first thing is the hair does come in these little satchels and everything was like in this nice brown box and it had like air type um cushioning so the hair wasn't flying all over the place really really neat packaging one well, just taking it out the hair is like really soft and it does come with their tags on it which says real strands virgin hair extensions and on the back it gives the length the origin the type of hair the color and the texture so I have this is a 12 inch the origin is Filipino it's virgin natural hair color and it's straight oh. and let me tell you guys first of all about this okay this is like some thick hair like seriously this is like some thick hair these bundles are single wefted tracks but I have never seen a single wefted track that was so thick like this. Like, this is a lot of hair, and this is a single wefted track. And the bearding on it is so neat, but the hair is, like, so thick. Like, I have done many different hair textures, and they do say that Filipino hair is a little bit thicker in the strand. But it's so thick. And look, do you see how healthy that is? It has, like, its own little, like, curvage. This looks like hair, like just like the perfect hair so flowy and it's just like really flowy like really really flowy which is awesome there wasn't a closure so I just figured I would do a u-part wig with it or I mean I can make a wig without a closure but when I make a u-part wig it just requires more hair because it just does you know there's nothing right here to cover so I'll probably use like four out of the five bundles that's a lot of bundles of hair that they sent me and I don't really think that I'm gonna need like necessarily all five of them because it's so thick but it's so pretty and so thick so yes so also I wanted to mention to you guys that um, they also do offer pre-order options so say you see some hair like the Filipino hair and it's not available it's out of stock you can also pre-order it and pay in advance and it will make sure that the weight is so worth it if you pre-order it because of the quality of the hair so they do offer that option on their website as well so because this is going to be a U part um, I'm not really sure what I want to do different because it's a U part but I think I may have something in mind I just really don't want to mix two origins up with one another you know what I mean so we shall see i'll probably just come back with like a cute probably like a nice bob you part we'll see we shall see ladies okay guys so here i am i'm back i decided to make this into like a full wig with one of those little tiny closures um you remember the circle closures from back in the day i bought a few of those from ebay they're 100 percent human hair so i did use one of those this is the second attempt that i have made a wig like this so the first one that i made actually came out really really pretty um i did this like a year ago and so i decided to do that again with this one right here and i know i look a hot mess right now but i wanted you guys to see what it looks like so first of all i know you guys are like wait a minute your room has changed so i ended up changing my room around um because i just wanted something different i guess and yeah i changed my room around and i changed some things in it like pictures on the wall whatever because I love pink so yeah new kind of like room or what have you um furniture is still the same there probably is some couple of new pieces but anyway if you want to see a room tour then let me know and I'll do that yes also I know this video is like not about this but hey um I gotta say thank you to my boot day my girl Miss Shay Love she is like the best did she go out and give me one of these fabulous cups? So we have matching cups. 
And of course, me and her are both, she and I are both Geminis. So this is our Gemini symbol, has my name here. And these cups are like the bomb. If you guys have never seen these cups before, I guess we'll just have to do a video for you about them. But I have put ice in this cup at 11.30 last night and it is now 10.40 a.m., which is almost 12 hours later. Do you hear the ice? The ice, like, never hardly melts. So your drink stays super cold and I love this cup. Like, all day long, you can have it out in the heat and the ice never melts and vice versa. If you love hot stuff, like hot coffee, it'll work as well. They do have straws, which are uh, metal. She had the cup, um, just personalized, customized for me, and I love it. And she also sent me like a bunch of makeup because we send each other stuff all the time. And that's my boo thing. So make sure you guys check her channel out. So I did go ahead and I put my hair to the side in two side braids because this is where I'm going to cut it into a bang. So the closure is, I know you guys can see it. It's like, it's right here. And it's on a spandex dome cap. You know what I mean? And I could put like another track right here if I wanted to. I might just do that. I don't know how I feel about it because sometimes I don't like the hair too close because it starts to itch. It's always best to start your bang out kind of like um, long because, yeah. I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to twist it once. So now you see my bangs. Of course, they're like all over the place. Like, oh my God, April, what you gonna do? But look, this is how they come out when you cut it like that. Let me not comb my eyelashes because girl, please. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, of course, style it. So when I layer my hair, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'll like take apart. Okay, you guys, so yes, let's go ahead and style this with. All right, girls, so I am done creating or done styling this unit. Um, this is actually going to be the second time for me redoing this video because I really wasn't like a huge fan of the quality of the audio, um, the audio as well as I did use a different lens, which was more or less the close-up lens. And so I did kind of like change the color settings in my camera. Yes, let's just get into this video of this unit for Real Strands so we can move on. So like I said, it was on a mesh spandex dome cap and here is the inside. There's no combs or anything like that. The yellow marking right here is from where I wanted to mark where to put the actual little circle closure. So you can see it's kind of like circular right here. That is where the closure is stitched in at. I did keep the bang a little bit long, so keep that in mind as well. And styled her a little bit off camera because like I told you guys, I am not the best with curling any hair. I like dread curling hair. So I don't really curl it on myself. And if I do, it takes like forever. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to go curl this off camera real quick. And I did curl it originally on the mannequin head, but being that it's a bang, it kind of didn't come out the way it would suit me on my own head. So I had to kind of like recurl it. And you guys already know if you're wondering what did I use? Did I use any hairspray? Definitely, definitely. Um, this time I used the Instant Freeze by Aussie. Um, I do have two cans that I love the most, which is the Instant Freeze. And I have been raving about this for like the past year and a half or probably more. And also the Headstrong volume is something new that I picked up probably like about a month ago that I've also been sharing with you guys. It does not break your hair off. It does not flake in your hair as well. So it's like an amazing hairspray light. So anyway, like I said, I did cut the bangs fairly long and I did have to pull the wig far back on my head and I cut it really long for certain purposes. I'm not really the best at cutting bangs. So that's one reason why I do cut my bangs really, really long because I really suck at cutting bangs and it's always better to cut them super long than start off like where you want them to be because if you do and it's a mistake, you're only going to have to cut more and then 
by the time I'm done with it, they're probably all the way up here. So anyway, so as I was saying about the wig, I did make the bangs or cut the bangs a little bit longer. And you guys know how many bundles I use. The hair is really great quality hair. It is rather thick, so you don't need a lot of bang, um, a lot of bundles. Well, so at this time, all I'm seeing on their website is this particular type here, which is the Filipino hair. I'm pretty sure that they will branch out and get more hair. And like I said, if you want to order something or pre-order that they don't have, like Peruvian or Malaysian, I'm pretty sure that they can accommodate you. Um, first experience ever with um, Filipino hair and I will tell you this it is rather thick the only issue that I had um, so in case you guys are wondering were there any issues that I had any qualms about the hair the only thing that I did not like at all was the actual wefting band on it the actual track at the top it was really thick normally when I do a wig when I sew a wig when I create any wig I do not cut the tracks I do the flip over method and with me I do sew through those tracks at the very edges where it's flipped over just to make it lay as flat as possible so yeah it is a little bit work when I'm sewing through two tracks just to make sure that the thread is clasping it down and that's hard as it is but with these tracks it was really hard to get through one track it was really thick the bands on them are super duper thick so I wasn't really pleased about that I had to end up cutting the tracks it took me like about five to six minutes just to get through one track as a flip over method and I did this for like 30 minutes straight and after a while I just could not do it anymore so I really do think like their bands could be a little bit thinner um, some people may like them like that but me per se I don't especially for those who are getting a sewing in their own head you probably end up getting jabbed by a needle like that so I really think that they should take that one particular flaw into consideration and also it may allow the hair to lay a little bit flatter on the wig that you're creating or the head that you're putting it on that's just my issue um, other than that the hair is absolutely beautiful it has great bounce to it a very great scent the strands are super thick and the color of course is a really dark color because it is natural hair by Philippines but yes that was the only issue that I had so I will post all of their information for real strands below and yeah I, mean, I mean I wasn't the best at cutting this bang and I I really suck at cutting bangs I don't know why but that's why I just do the swoop bang when it comes to any hairstyle that I make because I kind of suck at doing any bang but yes you can check real strands out i will post all of the information for you girls below and on that note let me know what you think make sure you rate comment subscribe and thumbs this video up if it was helpful and as always i will see you girls and guys on my next video and i love you all and stay diva and divalicious as always